Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'll be covering how you can install and play Elder Ring on Linux using Steam Proton. Now, just to bear two things in mind, as of this particular video, it's currently not possible to enable HDR within the game or to play Elden Ring online with other people. In fact, the method I'm going to show in this video will bypass EAC, which is the anti cheat used by the game. So, on that basis, you do run the risk, although very unlikely, of getting your account banned. So the first step is installation. Now to my knowledge this game is only available on Steam, so once you've purchased and activated it through Steam, you will need to enable Proton globally in order to download and install this game. So to do that, go to Steam at the top, go to Settings, and under the Steam Play tab, make sure you've enabled both Enable Steam Play for supported titles, as well as Enable Steam Play for all other titles. Now, by default, it will choose the option for Proton Experimental, which is absolutely fine, because that's the version that we want. Once you've done that, close down the window and restart Steam. From here, just install the game as normal. So step two is to enable a Proton's Experimental Bleeding Edge build. First of all, if you go to the option down here and make sure you've selected tools, you'll see that Proton Experimental will appear on the list. If you want to right click on that, go to properties, and under betas, you want to choose the option that says Bleeding Edge, latest and untested. Now likely in the future, this step will not be needed, but as of this particular video, this is something that you need to do. Once you've done that, close that down to apply it. So step three is to bypass EAC. And the way that you do this, if you right click on the properties of the game, go to local files, and then click on the browse button. And inside here you'll find the installation directory for the game, double click on the folder that says game and then open up a terminal command. From here we're going to be running two commands in a sequence. The first one is cpstartprotectedgame.exe stpg.exe.back That's why to confirm that if you get the prompt. And then the second one is cplderring.exe startprotectedgame.exe once again, press Y to confirm that if you get the prompt. Now what these both commands will do is they'll make a backup of the original EAC binary and then change the EXE that's going to be launched instead. At this point you've done everything you need so you can launch the game.
So as you can see, the game does work on Linux, but performance isn't exactly great. Now, considering I'm currently playing a full playthrough of this game on Windows and I get comparable results, then I'm not going to blame Linux for this one or Proton. I'm just going to say it's just poor optimization on the game's end. Either way, with that, you now have a method of installing and playing, although offline, Elden Ring on Linux. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again next time. Bye now.